Hi, I'm Alessandro Belli and in this channel we check programming, productivity and technology. And today I would like to show you uh, my Notion setup and how I use it to be more mindful, productive and to remind me what's my goal and dreams. I did this video about one and a half year ago and it got quite popular and I would like to make an update to my Notion setup because it changed a lot and I changed a lot so let's just get to it. This is my personal home. As you can see, I don't have many pages here, but there are a lot inside. I like to make a clean look in Notion to be more organized because in this page, there is everything I need. Let's just get started from the top. Uh, I use Notion to be more mindful and productive. And the first message on top is something that I need to get uh, reminded that when I meditate, read and exercise, I am a better person. So, and I don't lose time because I think, oh, but if I don't meditate, I don't read half an hour a day, I do other stuff, I'm more productive. That's not true. I am more productive if I meditate, read and exercise. Virtually every day, of course I can't do that, but that's my goal. My why is my, the reason why I'm alive be, and the goal of my life. I would like to be weightless on this world, I would like to create more than I consume, which they are connected, these two phrases, and I would like to have a positive impact. I can make thousands of videos about this, but let's just leave it like it is. And this is my dream, four years for now. I'm working on my project, I'm being my own boss, and I'm taking care of my family. These three are Catex functions, so I can post them in the description and with that You can create a function usually for math um, Functions you can create this for math functions, but this is for text or anything you can Create it like this. I want to show you first you make something colored so colored blue black background then you click turn into block equation you click on it you paste the code and you have a blue block this widget again it's towards being more mindful even it's a, a little bit scary the clock is ticking, but I like to be reminded that the clock is ticking. I'm this kind of person. I like to know that there is time left in our life, that we are limited and the day is limited, the week is limited, the month is limited, the year is limited. I have lived almost 40% of my life already because I think I said that I'm gonna die at 86, I think, but let's just not talk about that. This is a widget from indify.co. You can, it's free, you can log in, set up your data and just get it. And also you can set up your colors in the, on indify.co. In the middle, you can see it's a, my journal database and you can see only today because the filter is the day is today. And here, since it's, this is my hub, the central hub of everything, I want to see my today because this is a very big database. You can see a video right there about this database. It's my ROI system. So it's a, I have a daily point system that connects to the weeks and the months and I see my performance over the year. But this is my journal system and I like to keep it in the middle of my hub. We come below to a list of things. My notable projects, para system, uh, writing and reading and life. Notable projects just helps me to jump very quickly to the projects that I'm working on currently and, and they are really important that I click on it. In notable projects I can link pages on the go so I just go here and I say me tag and this is another project that I'm not currently working on because I just finished to work on it and I link this page and I can see inside and there are comments and everything for example I can check in MeSort, it's the same as MeTag Analyze, there are bugs, current tasks, completed tasks, and that's what I do usually when I go into a project and I'm 
work into a project, I open this page, I put it on front of me and just work on something that is in this list. And when a bug is, bug is done, I can just put it in completed and it's gone, not going to show that there. Now we come to the plan tasks in calendar. This is my main page where I see the calendar. On the left, you can see the unplanned tasks and on the right, you can see the recurring tasks. So the one that comes more time. So I write tweets more time. There is a gym day more time. Unfortunately, I have to do blood tests more than once. I have to script videos. I have meetings and streaming. So what I usually do is um, grabbing a task, moving it into the calendar and it disappeared from the left if you can see that. And if it's wrong, I can just go into planned and clear my task. This is very handy. I can see in a glance what I'm gonna do, what I did. And yeah, it's not very um, correct because most of the tasks are, are recurring and I move them around. But this, is, this helps me a lot. And now we come to a very important part, which is the assign commits to tasks. Why commits? Because I record commits in my Notion with the, my, the action Notion hook that I developed. Notion hook is a GitHub action that helps you track your commits in Notion. You just need to install this action on your repository, give some couple of tricks, you can find the instruction on this video, and then every commit that you register is gonna be recorded in this, in Notion, in, in specific, in my database commits. Let's check the main database, and this is pretty big. Look how many things are in here, and I'm not very good at naming the commits, but you see that some of them, you can see the file changed, you can see the task, the link you can get into uh, GitHub. What I usually do in this page is to assign commits to tasks. That helps me to uh, understand how big was the task, how many commits I did, what I did in those commits, because not only I check the title, the description, but I also save the files as well as the link of the commit. So that helps me a lot. It's one of those tasks that you do in advance that in among a thousand commits that you save in Notion, maybe three are gonna be very helpful and groundbreaking to change something that you did wrong or understand a bug or something. So that's why I like to save every commit in Notion. And by that, I mean files changed the link and the name. What I do usually in the commits, assign commit to task page is just me assigning a task to the commit and that disappear from here and it's done. Para. So I have areas that are wide. So work is my work at the University of Bremen, which I am a researcher and a software developer. I have side projects, I have a home, but this is not the my home, unfortunately. I have self-improvement, things that I like to do, health and food, leisure and family. And I have an Italian flag because guess what? Areas are very broad. You can be more specific with projects. A project database where I have all my projects that are way more specific than areas. In this way, I can assign tasks to this project and inside tasks I have the commits that's what I just showed you before after projects of course as I just said there are tasks and then there is my way my way are again the database of my why long-term goals, your why in life, why you get up in the morning, because I want to be my own boss, I want to have a home, and I want to have a positive impact in life, and I would like to travel between Italy and Turkey. Writing and reading, unfortunately, is a section that I don't use that much. Re Readwise talks to for itself is a very nice um, 
program that can synchronize the highlights of my Kindle to Notion. So, and also tweets and every, even PDF that I uh, upload. Sleepbox is my database or where I write my notes called Zettelkasten, where I have index cards, I have people's quotes and some other things. I can't get into it because it's a very complicated uh, database. I'm not using it at least since one year and I should definitely get into that uh, back. But yes, that's, that is part of my writing life. Calendar is just a page that includes uh, includes everything. It's a bit slow because there are all the months since I started to use Notion. There is years, there is weeks. If you want a pre-filled calendar for 2022 for free, you can check the link in the description because I have uh, that template for you. I filled this template with a script that I did. You can find the link in the description with this template with the calendar for of months and weeks for 2022. So you can connect the weeks to your journal. And then you can also find the link for the script that I did that fills up your months and weeks database. Journal is my journal database, is very huge and um, I made a video about it. You can see the video here. It's about my ROI system where I uh, calculate uh, points. I have a link in the description for a template. Then I have the meals. The meals is basically whatever I eat. I uh, take pictures. This is pre-cooked and I eat this is to track my diet. You can check in my journal. For example, today, I think I checked only breakfast and I had just two eggs and sujuk for breakfast. People is just a database people. I can't open it for, to disclose names. Diets is just the diets that I'm doing. It's just a list of the diets. There are some names there. I can show you that. Bring yourself up. It's a list of videos that I love to um watch when i'm down and what people said that made me happy let's see if you can check some of you are here because i really thank you so much for your comments though yeah when i'm down i read there and i bring myself a little bit up resources is just exactly a folder like the icon with everything else like all the things I try, all the things that I'm not using at all, all the things that are excessive, I put them there. Gogging exercise is just the exercise that David Goggins in his book, Can't Hurt Me, uh, give you every chapter. And I wrote it down uh, with the tasks. I found the tasks on the internet, I think, on a medium post, which I can link in the description. And I just try to do whatever I would like to do in this period and I filled it with my things and sometimes I would like to go back there because there is an accountability mirror, I want to see what I want to do every day, but the post in the description will explain better. And this is just what, I, what is my diet. If you are interested in my diet, let me know. And in the end, you can see on the far right, the recurring tasks this is just to remind me again what should i do recurrently streaming video scripting write tweets optimize notion workspace promote resource on redbubble so that's what i should do continuously assign that to some tasks where i can do it in my plan tasks in calendar I hope you enjoyed this video. I will put all the links in the description for a template of the things I showed you and let me know if you want more information about the template or more templates and thanks for watching and see you the next time. Bye bye!